Hey, this is Mavic from Aero Hobbies, and uh, today's my maiden flight for this aircraft, the Marlin, and uh, I'm really excited to see how this flies. Now I'm introducing the Aero's Hobby 64 millimeter Marlin duct fan jet. Let's take a look inside. This is a really stupid place to put some screws. Let's keep that in mind, guys. The manual is wrong when it comes to labeling your receiver. It should be one throttle, two ailerons, three elevator, four rudder, five is empty, and six is flaps. That's how it should be when you hook up your receiver. Take off. Such a short distance. That is so short. Yeah. We used to double that. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. Coming in for a pass. Ready? I gotta get more. Does that help? Yeah. Coming by. Would you recommend it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful shot right there. Wow, that was fast. Whew. It took off in no time. Now this model does come with flaps. For, for this price, that is just amazing. Uh, it's pretty much unheard of, actually. Do a flyby so you, can, like, so you can practice landing it. Let me get a little bit more comfortable, though. Ooh, a little gust. So the winds today are 12 miles an hour. Uh, so we're just gonna see how this plane handles that. The controls are actually really smooth. I was questioning them just a little bit before. Now my last jet, it was just a piece of trash. Uh, the receiver would not connect to the transmitter while in flight, so it kind of died on itself a little bit. I'm gonna put the flaps down a little bit here, see how that impacts it. How slow can you go by on flaps to land this thing? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and see. Yeah. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna try a landing real quick. Wow, that's slow, that's awesome. What a nice aircraft. All right, well that just floated across, so I'm gonna try again. Yeah. Nice. Gotta come in a little bit lower. There you go. Perfect. A little bit of a gust there. Oh, is that beautiful? Look how slow that is. You can't land a duck fan that, that slow. I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons about this thing. So the first pro is it's a great beginner duct fan jet. I mean when I flew the Super Cub, it's it's just like that, except it's just a whole new level of excitement. Number two, it's fast, affordable, and it's easy to fly. It's $160, but 
not including the receiver. Uh, and it is just, it's a great, it's great investment because it has flaps and you can, it's really hard to get flaps with a $160 aircraft. The takeoff is very small. I mean, it, it only needs about 20 feet of runway to take off. And to land it, it just floats right down. It is a beautiful aircraft to see it flying in the air. It has plenty of power as well. It could probably reach 60 to 70 miles an hour, but we haven't officially recorded it yet. I mean, it was just cruising along. I was at an airport. It seemed like it was just matching the other aircraft that were landing at the airport. But some of the cons are the landing gear are not as strong as we would have hoped them to be. I'll give you an example of what would happen over time. This is my last jet, and what happened was we flew it a few times, and then the landing gear just started to break, literally break off, and we couldn't really do anything about it, and that was just a bummer. And also, this plane is a lot better in the sense that it is a fixed wing. There's one wing on there, one complete set, which makes it a lot stronger. And on this, it's just this one, no, it's two piece, just kind of put in together that way. It's not as strong as this for say. And uh, one problem for this as well, well, another problem is inside of, inside of this fan here, in the motor, there's this tape around the motor and I guess we've had some complaints that it's been coming off and destroying the engine. But whenever you get one of these, just make sure that that's on secure. Now for ratings, for the price, it's a five out of five in my opinion. Because to get flaps in a duct fan jet, it'd be around $225. And uh, let me just give you an example of this. So I'm gonna put the flaps down there. It's at 30% right now. And it just makes everything just float, and it is just wonderful. For performance, it's a 4.5 out of 5. The reason why I say that is, when it's a windy day, it could be going a little bit faster, but it is still pretty quick. I mean, I'm just going to rev the engine real quick here. I mean, I don't know about you, but it just wants to take off. It wants to be in the air. Now, features, it's, I'm going to say 5 out of 5 mostly because of the flaps and because it is a well-built aircraft and everything is just pretty seamless uh, and it just really correlates with everything pretty well. In summary, this is a wonderful aircraft. I'd recommend it to all you viewers. Uh, go to Hobby Zone and purchase one. The guy is great there and he would love to help you with any questions that you guys have. See you later, Maverick.